Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can make FaceTime more useful. Now when FaceTime came out, it was a neat little service, you know, it's a video conference with people. Uh, but for me at least, the novelty grew off rather fast. But with a couple simple tweaks to FaceTime, you can actually use it as a home monitoring type of a home security kind of system, as well as just a webcam, you know, if you wanted to talk to people even just across the house. So for this, you're going to need two FaceTime capable devices. In this case, I'll be using my iMac as well as my iPod Touch. The first thing you're going to have to do is go on to your Mac and open up FaceTime. Now, from here, you're going to be able to sign in with an Apple ID, or if you don't have one, you can click Create New Account, and you can create a new account right from here. Uh, but since I do have one, I'm going to sign in here. And for this all to work out, you're going to need two Apple IDs. So I'm guessing most of you will have to create one, uh, just because most people probably don't have two. So I'm going to sign in with this, and then I'm going to do the same thing on my iPod Touch. So now on my iPod, I'm going to go into Settings, and I'm going to scroll down to FaceTime. And from here, I can also create a new account if I didn't have one. And I can do the same setup process. Uh, but then I'm going to sign in here. And now I'm all set up and ready to go. I have FaceTime signed in on both devices. And you have to have a different Apple ID. Because if you try to call yourself with just one Apple ID, it's not going to work just because it identifies it as the same pretty much phone number, if you want to call it. But in this case, it identifies you as pretty much two different people because you have a different email address set up for each device. So now basically what you can do from here is you can call yourself. <laughs> so this is kind of neat. So but basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on to one of my devices and I'm going to call the other Apple ID that I set up on the other device. So I'm just going to click the email address in this case. And it's going to show up on the other device that I can accept the call. And from here you can see that I can see on my Mac uh, what is showing up wherever I have my iPod Touch. And this can work either way, so you know, opposite way with the iPod Touch or whatever you want. And I can see everything that's happening, you know, uh, here's my hand. First of all, if you're going to leave for a while now, not like for days or anything, uh, but and you wanted to kind of monitor, you know, make sure there wasn't any suspicious activity, you could set this up and record the screen on your Mac and have a little bit of a rigged up security system in that sense. Now there's a downfall to this because you are using data over the internet, so this is not something you're going to want to leave sitting on 24-7 because if you have a data cap on your plan, and most ISPs do, you're going to run out eventually if you have streaming data 24-7. Another useful application would be to watch for somebody at the door that you're waiting for, something like that if you're in another room and maybe you, you're not going to hear the doorbell. You could have this set up and you know your iPod just facing out the window and you could see whenever that person shows up and you know when they walk up, you'd see them. You could also use it as some type of a baby monitor. If you want to see what your child's doing, that's another useful application. And even just to talk to other people on the other side of the house if you need to, uh, you could use it for that too. So there's a lot of different things you can do with this, and it's pretty handy. Uh, once, you, once you think about it, the possibilities are really endless for what you can use this for. And it's just a simple and easy way to expand the possibilities and the usefulness of FaceTime. So I hope you found this video useful, and thank you for watching.